you're live. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Thursday, and it's a great day. It is hot, great pizza day. So everybody, go get your pizza today. Make sure you tell the pizzeria that you know it's a hot pizza day. Maybe he'll give you a discount. Maybe he won't. But today is hot pizza day. I have some three wonderful women. I love when it's just women because, you know, women make great business partners. They're very smart. They do things that are wonderful. And it's a diverse group here today. So first we have Rosemary Fierro. She worked in the school Hello. system for how long? Years? Well, about 13 years. And before that, all kinds of things. And now she's an advocate for families that have Down syndrome in their children. Stephanie Carlino. She founded The Breakfast Club with me 16 years ago, still around, still working in the community, passion for what, cooking, traveling, <laughs> everything, work for the Girl Scouts, the Spine Association, so we have a lot to talk about. Okay. And lastly, but not but most, uh, what's, what's important is Vicki Elner. I know her for about, what, 10 years? Probably, yes. 10 years, outreach, government affairs, consultant, uh, you work co currently with Ronald Fatula? I do. And uh, I tried to get them years ago. They never said yes to me. <laughs> Certified grief recovery. This is new. Yes. So I want to know about that. Yes. And a grief relief person. What is that like? You well, that's, that's uh, bundled into the Certified Grief re uh, grief Recovery Specialist. Okay. So. And the Board of Directors for the Public Policy Committee, Statewide Senior Action Committee, what else? The nurse advocate, door to door, doc. What is that? I don't know. It sounds like I can't find myself. I'm, you know, <laughs> or I'm overextended. I'm not sure. But uh, door to door doc is a um, a, a um, concept that I've had for about 10, 15 years now of visiting homebound seniors in the home when they can't get to a doctor's office. So um, you know, it's actually re kind of re-energizing after COVID. Uh, we weren't seeing um, patients at home during COVID, during the height of COVID. And we met a lot uh, through the women's groups that we were involved in at the beginning. Right. And through the media, through um, Long Island Press, we and were involved yes. with Vicki. Vicki yes, Schneps. Yes, Vicki Schneps. Good friend of mine. Yeah. So actually, the time that we really connected was a 516 uh, David ad. Gusson. David Gusson. Yeah. He was doing, actually, Stephanie Larkin was a speaker right that's and we right. were there together and you were getting ready to write your book but yes. you were you had said something about seniors and click click and truthfully i don't know if i've ever told you this but that was a catalyst for me to kind of step back and say you know what maybe i don't really want to retire you know maybe i do want to rewire so mm -hmm. uh, there you go and we've had a few lunches together over we the have. years we have. and uh, not enough no, we're overdue <laughs> we are overdue we have to do it again yeah. but you had that very nice luncheon over in uh where you honored some people. I was there about two years ago, before the COVID. That very so, nice luncheon event. So was that at the um, Crescent Beach Club? Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So that, well, that was for um, IBWC, IBWC, Independent Business Women's Circle. Right. It was very nice. Yes. I'm a co-founder of that group. Mm -hmm. And yes, we did honor uh, certain people. Actually, Laura Kern, who was our Nassau County Executive at the she time, was, there, was yes. one of our guest speakers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it was a nice event. It was nice. It was and then you have your thing at your house once, once in a blue moon, right? Don't you have that big party in the backyard or something? I remember no. somebody saying they went. No. <laughs> <laughs> While I was sleeping. <laughs> Thank God they cleaned up because I would have been really mad. <laughs> okay, that wasn't you. That's somebody else. That's another Vicky. You know, I have a lot of people that send me information. So, well, you look great. I Thank love you. this. Thank you. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Very nice. That is so Beautiful. different. Yeah. Your jewelry. And this I have to show. Okay, sure. Okay, look <laughs> at can this. I, can I tell a story about yes. it? Yes. Okay. Look at this pocketbook, ladies. Nice. Way to go. And all of the things. That is stylish. This is like for a model, for a modeling picture. Beautiful. You should have your picture so, taken with this. So this is, I don't know whether to use it as a pocketbook or to name it and like, uh, I don't know. It's a nice. Give it a dog bed or something. Yeah, make it a pet. But, <laughs> but first, what happened was I bought a pocketbook that um, 
it wasn't exactly like this. And the place that I bought it at, Foxes and Huntington, said, we have a better bag. Bring back that other bag. Trade it in. And I traded it in. So I've been using this, you know, for this season. And people have not stopped talking about it. It in is. The street, and a lot of men come up to me. Just, you know, and like, oh, we love your pocketbook and, and things it's like that. It's a statement. That. So, um, so anyway, uh, what I said to myself the other day is, you know what? I should have decided to raffle off this thing at the end of the season, like 10 bucks a chance or something. <laughs> and then at the end of the winter, they get the bag and I get the money and I go on a cruise. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Sounds good. That's I a like great it. plan. And I have great memories. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. I don't think you'd have a problem. <laughs> Collecting $10, ten dollars for a raffle for yeah, that bag. It's either. a statement. They have amazing so things there, don't they, at Fox? They, they really do. They're really yes, one yes. of a kind. Yeah, you've been going there forever, right? When they when they first opened, the man, the, when they first opened in Mineola, it was such a small storefront yeah. that we would we would call him in the morning because he'd go to the city and whatever he could get, he'd get. Mm -hmm. And we'd call before lunch, and he'd say, "No, don't come today. It's only all, all, all big sizes today, or mm. it's just you know evening wear." I mean, that's how close to the vest it was. It was wow. every day what they had. Yeah. yeah, it's grown quite. Oh, quite I know. They have there. the two I places now: the Battle and one. Uh, they have and one Huntington. Huntington. And yes, Huntington. Huntington. And Babylon. Plus, yeah. plus yeah. they have and Forest Hills. Forest Hills. Forest Hills. Forest Hills. They have about twenty, seventeen or twenty stores. You know, oh, throughout I didn't realize the, that. Yeah, I said in Florida, they have they have more oh, that's stores. That's right. I forgot. I heard. I did hear they were in Florida. Yeah, they always have opportunities to work there too. I guess you get a discount when you work at Fox's too. I'm always amazed at some of the prices they have, right? I, you know, I, I, think I don't I, shop there because they don't have my size, but... Yeah, they I, do. Yeah. The yeah. one in Babylon does. Does it? Yeah. That's the, the larger section, yeah. Have I not been Eola? No, I, I've gone there once or twice yeah. and wasn't lucky. Yeah. No. But I do a lot of catalog shopping. Just, mm. yeah. I went shopping the other day and I was like blown away. I'm like, I'm not doing this again for a long time. There was no help. Yeah. No, no people in the store. It was terrible. no, there really isn't. But that is, well, there is no any help. store, yeah. any store, anywhere. Yeah. I'm in healthcare. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So no let's talk care. about that. No, no so we're going to come back to you in a well, minute. That, yeah, that's okay. what I wanted to ask. Yeah, so first of all, Rosemary, um, yeah. you know, how many years now? Your son is how old? Well, Valentine's Day, my Down syndrome son will be 46. And and, and I've uh, known him yeah. since day one. Mm -hmm. And the. She's the one woman I know that did not treat her son any different than no. any of her other children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's, well, tell, let's talk well, that, about him. Well, that's the key. He was my third child. You know, uh, it's very difficult to have a uh, special needs child as your first because you don't know how to handle it. As, as, as a mother or as a parent, you don't know how to handle so-called normal, normal, you know, so you have the special needs. But being he was my third, uh, you know, I just pushed him. And the funny part of this is that I used to volunteer working at the Association for Down Syndrome before I had my son. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so when I gave birth to him, everybody there said, okay, Rosemary got jealous and she had to have one of her own. Aww. So, but he's, uh, he's doing very well. He's uh, in a group home, independent living now. He's been there about 19 years and he works for ShopRite. They actually did a... Uh, a commercial to try to get people to hire special mm -hmm. needs children. And uh, like I said, he's been at ShopRite about 18 years now. That's wonderful. And uh, he loves it. He works four days a week. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, very independent. And uh, he's, he's doing well. That's you know? great. Yeah, and our it's first job, him. this is how long we know each other. We worked mm -hmm. in Floral Park in the, a district that was all commercial, mm -hmm. no way to park. And first job was with way back when when there was no nail machines to draw your nails yeah and what was the name of that place i can't even remember the well the nail machine itself was uh manufactured by the company called linnell l-a-n-e-l right linnell right now right yeah mm -hmm. so he was the first uh one to develop it um he uh he used to come out with different things uh this was one before that he was the one who did the um when you when you're showing a presentation, the light, a know, laser, the laser thing. He yeah, he had come out with that uh, originally when he first started this business too, uh, with slide trays, and he made colored ones, different colors. So you had yellow, and the doctors loved it. The uh -huh. urine, red for blood, the blue, the green. Uh, where Kodak only sold black, mm. so. That's what started uh, this particular guy. But 
he was local. It was, you know, close enough that we can walk to it and, and having and having children. You know, yeah, so and, it was a part time yeah part time job. And, and my sister had a business <laughs> next door to them, and right. she worked with automotive. Now everybody's doing other other things, other things. but mm-hmm. years and years we always still yeah. connected. And then she got my neighbor a job working at the nail place, Lorraine. Lorraine, yeah. Yeah, she's gone too. She's in Florida. Florida. But it, it's the whole thing of networking is, that's how you, that's how you do it. Yeah. Relationship building. Right? And then yeah. Stephanie, we met yeah. in an interview. We were both uh, mm-hmm. going for the same try at the LIA. Mm-hmm. We were in the, in the uh, uh-huh. best of you. And I looked at her and she looked at me. I'm like, I hope you get it. She said, I hope you get it. We didn't get it. <laughs> and we went to lunch. And we went to lunch. The best thing. And that's why women are so amazing, right? So yes. resourceful. Yeah, the connection. It. And they could just take a situation like that and, you know, and okay, just develop a relationship on. out of it. Right? Exactly. So and and Joanne uh, Fiorentino, Lucas, from Allstate, mm. was the other one that we met in the interview. And the three of us, yep. along with Chris <laughs> Fidus, one man, mm. started the Breakfast Club based yeah. on not being able to get a job. I mean, think about really? it. Really? And then remember, you did that whole video with uh, those people that came from California. Right, we're on ageism. Yeah, what did I remember? You were quite the uh, she was quite remember, the speaker. I can't remember what it was, but we were just talking about how you know that they you know everyone has to check boxes today. So you know, you're going for a job. You know, you don't have to be a genius to know you're not getting it. But you know, there they have. Or they can say, oh yes, I interviewed this and. You know, after a while, it was disenchanting and disillusioning to people and demoralizing. So that's when we decided that we would form this group and we would refer each other and know know who the people were and try to let people know that you're not the only ones at that age in this place. It's not a disgrace to be unemployed at a certain age. Yeah, and then we used to give talks about change your mind. Don't go back to what you used to do. And she was very good at that. And uh, then we wound up on TV twice or three times. Mm-hmm. Had a ball, and we got invited to a lot of nice places. And she has a chapter in my book. Yeah, that's great. I'm writing a book too one day in the yeah. future. So sure. <laughs> it's I'm making. I want her to do it. So, but Susan, who's not here today, um, Stephanie did a nice job on the table today. Thank you. Thank you. It's a sports uh, day today. Mm-hmm. Susan says hi, everybody. So- sorry, I'm not there. And she's shouting out to everybody from her. She's on vacation today. And Mariana Ayaboni is one of our top watchers. Thank you for watching, Mariana. She's a nice Italian lady, and her daughter has a business, and uh, they do serving and cleaning for parties, if you ever need it. And uh, it looks good. Look at how nice the back looks with the screen. Nice. So, Justin, I like it. The screen looks good today. Mm-hmm. So we've grown a lot since yes. the last time you were on the show was in that little yes. tiny place. I, I said, am I going to the same place? I mean, what no, I say? that I know. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have invited you there anymore because, of, you know, COVID. Now we have lots of space. Yeah, it's lovely. It's and nice. don't you love this? Isn't yeah. it trendy? Yeah, it's great. That's yeah. Terrific. You she's do a terrific tr- job. She's a trendy lady. <laughs> So, so football, um, this weekend is the Super, the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yes, right? she's so the expert you, on that. Are you interested, rooting? Yes, who, Philadelphia Eagles. <gasps> That's it. That's all right. How about Don't. you? No. How about you? No. Chiefs. Okay. Chiefs. I'm going That's to, right. my I'm going to the bar. <laughs> my grandson texted me this morning, and he said, you know I'm rooting for the Chiefs. I said, okay, then. Patrick Mahomes, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Bring your home. Uh-oh. 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 I have a brother who lives out in Canada. And my sister, I have a sister who lives there, too. So I, <laughs> so I had shirts made for us that have the two helmets. Yeah, yeah. and this is a I nice didn't, one. I didn't get, nice? I didn't get the one yet. I didn't even see that in Philadelphia. Yeah. I, had I have made. a hat. I had the maid, and um, it has the two things, so I don't have to change my clothes in the mid- middle of the game for the Kansas. So I have to so I'll be root for both. Yeah. So my brother sent me a Kansas City um, hat. If I knew we were going to do this, I would have worn that hat. Well, I wasn't sure. She's I'll come surprised back. Surprised for the moment. <laughs> could always come back. We have a great time here. Yeah. And if you know anyone that needs to have a party, the party is great, and mm-hmm. they decorate it like unbelievable. Yeah. So well, that was nice to know. something different for a meeting. Mm-hmm. Even we've had yeah. a few meetings here. Mm-hmm. We even had the um, wrestling group here, mm-hmm. and they had a red carpet and everything. It was mm-hmm. unbelievable. So they turned this place into anything. Yeah. It's great. So we we're a show in the day, and we're a club at night. Mm-hmm. And what could be better than that? Yeah, here, here. And you've met Greg already, haven't you? I did once. Yeah. Yes. He's been out uh, ailing. He's going to be back Monday for the mm-hmm. Valentine show. Mm-hmm. Got a big show Monday. Big, big, big. That's nice. Yeah, we have an audience and everything. Oh, great. Yeah, it's Terrific. a lot of fun. What we time have. is the show? If you want to come, 1130. We have food, mm-hmm. drinks, and uh, we have a blast. 
and you give out cards. You it's know, usually I mean. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Really fun. you're gonna miss it. Oh, she always makes the champagne. I was just gonna say we're not gonna have that. No, we no, have, we're we gonna have, <laughs> we have some follow up. I think uh, we're gonna buy bottles of champagne, and I think my friend over there might be serving it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about what you're doing now. Well. You know, I, I divide by time proportionally in different areas. Um, I do consulting for uh, Ronald Fatula and Associates and other uh, professional f uh, service firms or not-for-profits. I have a, 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 an extensive background in the not-for-profit area. Yeah, well, I, I did something with you on this uh, Zoom. We did a book Yeah, well, that, day. okay. So uh, what we did uh, with Ron Fatula, you mean? Yes. Yes, we did. I think that was last, I think that was a last year ago. Mrs. Theresa Month. Women's right. History Month. Right, April. And, and March. I think that was it. Anyway, yeah, we did. We had nice things. It was that. nice and yeah. Yeah, very nice. Everybody was so yeah. nice. Yeah. So um, so I do that. Um, and uh, I also, as a healthcare professional, I'm very entrenched in healthcare advocacy, helping people ma navigate through the healthcare elder care maze when they need that level of support. Uh, which is, you know, integral to people getting services. Right, um, which is very huge right now. Very huge. And I'm a very passionate advocate for aging and senior issues. I, I know you mentioned uh, things relevant to uh, ageism. Uh, you know, that's something that I've been talking about and you know, ad ad advocating for for years, uh, you know, against that ageism. And ageism is an interesting concept in, in as much as that we think of ageism related to the senior population. But really, ageism is as much in your younger population. It's just, it is just a, uh, you know, some type of negative feeling, whatever that age group might be. Um, and you mentioned before, I do sit on the board of directors of the New York Statewide Senior Action Council, which is a 50-year-old organization uh, that is a voice for senior issues in the, in the state. And that's um, very important because yeah. we don't have a voice. I mean, the Breakfast Club stands for that, too. You know yeah, that. yeah, I know that. And we do speak up and we speak yes, out, absolutely. but nobody listens. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you feel that way? Well, you know what? There's always going to be that percentage of people <laughs> that, you know, that, that don't listen. Uh and also, or that are not interested, uh, whatever it is. And sometimes people become interested when it hits them personally. Well, how about politicians? Like everything else. Politicians mm -hmm. are interested yeah. when they're running. Oh, politicians are interested when they're running. What an interesting thought. Well, come on. <laughs> wow. Let's yeah. call a spade a spade here, That's guys. A new concept. <laughs> and they promise you a lot, but sometimes they don't deliver. And I, you know, I'm a, I am political, but I'm not. But the bottom line is I have personally experienced ageism issues, mm -hmm. as well as you, uh -huh. as well as you, and I don't know if you have, but why can't we change it? We're not loud enough, maybe. I don't know. And women do speak out. So what do you think it is? You know, I don't know if I have the magic bullet to say, oh, this is why this is happening. I, I think that we live in a youth-oriented culture, and it follows through. Um, I can't say honestly that nothing has happened. I mean, there has been some turn of the pendulum, but it is a long entrenched uh, you know, feeling that's been out there. So, you know, advocacy and uh, lobbying and things like that, they're not a quick fix for anything. No, that's so true. So there's a saying that um, uh, people plant trees whose shade they never sit in. So even though you feel today that you're not making headway. The reality of it is, if it wasn't for people like us around that and kept and, and who don't keep silent, well, you're never going to change. So, it, you know, um, actually, um, it, I think it is, it is Vicky Schnapps who uh, had has, has. Well, I know she says if you don't if you don't ask, you don't get. Well, but, I believe uh, in that too. Yeah, that's one thing. And, uh, you know, or if you don't do anything, uh, I mean, at least if you do something, you're 50% ahead. ahead. Exactly. Well, that's true. Exactly. If you see something, so, say something. Yeah, yeah. You know, and if you so, don't, well, shame on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I just think that that's, you know, that's the element. I, I have to tell you, for as many years as I've been advocating and out there for a voice for, you know, for the older population, for senior issues, I can't say that, I can't say, oh, wait, this has been Disney World. And it's not no, Disney it's World. Not. Absolutely I mean, because it's cut to services. I mean, I can go on forever. Oh, it's about ridiculous this. what they're doing. But, uh, but you know, there yeah. is hope for us. You know, yeah. I mean, a perfect example is right now a senior cannot get into one of the senior uh, places if they want to purchase it. There's a long list. 
Mm-hmm. But there is a way, because I you, know there's a way. Are you, talk, I, are you talking about affordable housing? Or? Yeah, yes. uh, to purchase a co-op right. in the program in the town of Henson. Right. If you call today, they're going to say it's a long list. Right. But guess what? It's not. It's possible. Mm-hmm. I've, I've had it happen to me right. and other people that I help. Mm-hmm. There's a way to navigate. Right. But why don't they tell you that? Mm-hmm. Why don't we know that? Mm-hmm. Let's say tomorrow, point. Stephanie's ready. She knows what to do because she's a smart woman. Mm-hmm. But what about all those seniors out there that don't know what to do mm-hmm. and how to do it? That's the missing link right now. But don't you think that, I get it, but don't you think that that is really a, a, a kind of philosophically something that goes along with a lot of different areas? Yes. Oh, yes. Right? Definitely. Yes. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even like these free, beautiful <clears throat> things they do for seniors in the spring and the summer with fresh fruits and vegetables. Nobody knows Nobody that knows. they exist. Mm-hmm. I know, so I tell my people about it. But they don't tell them where to go. Well, the lack of communication then is obviously from yeah. the people who are providing the services. Yeah. yeah. I do healthcare advocacy. I help, as I said before, I help people navigate through the healthcare elder Which is very maze. important. So tell so, us like a, a standard problem that you believe needs to change. You know, there, there's never just one problem. But I'm going to be a little more broader than that in my answer to you. Um, because of your years in, in the healthcare arena, uh, you know where those pitfalls are, or you know, uh, or you know what people are entitled to, or you know. I mean, there's just a lot, and and the general public doesn't not does not know, and and that's just life. So that's yes. why that's why people, whether it's like me or any one of us, exists out there to help to be able to do that. Right. Of course, you know, um, and you, you know, wouldn't it be great if we could wave a magic wand and everything would be perfect? No, you know, well, that doesn't you know, exist. That's not going to happen. That'd be nice. So. Yeah. You know, I, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me in my work relevant to my advocacy, oh my God, I never knew that. Well, I never, you know, but, you know, uh, it's the same thing. Well, it's of true. The, of the people who make cards, you know. Right. But, you know, it's, it's true because I'm still else. finding things that I didn't know. Yeah. Just yesterday yeah. I found something I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know that. You I know, can't so. believe it. No, plus Come that. on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and really, you know, you found out about everything with your son and yeah. what you went through because you were a volunteer. Yeah. So you had a big chain of people yeah. that you talk to in that industry. So the answer is, if you want to be in this, what you're in, you have to be in it mm-hmm. to be in it. That's right. Right? And that's, Don't sell the uh-huh. sidelines. Go right. out there yeah. punching. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So like now, I mean, I know a few people that their parents or they are in um, rehabs. Mm-hmm. That's another nightmare. <laughs> and you go visit the rehab and... The bed's not clean. The patient's crying. She has to go to the bathroom. Right. What do we do about this? Do you do things like that? Like All report things? So people time. come to you and say, get this straightened out? Is that what happens? Well, what happens is that if people are inclined to you know, find somebody like me and want to also pay for it. Of course. Then yeah. they're going to get the level of support and, you know, uh, and the uh, outcome that they want. So that, that is certainly part of it. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it's it's like any other business or service. You, it's you know, it's beholden on us to say, go out there and say, this is what we do, and you know, be able to be be referred to in cases right. like. So that. if I had a, a client that said, I got to get my mother in somewhere, mm-hmm. who do I call? You do that kind of process for them. Say this is a good place. You make it happen. You know, get it registered, and you get a fee for that. Correct? Yes. Once and once again, I you know there are so many different um, uh, points within with what you're talking about. Right. So I mean, uh, uh, you know, like if somebody calls me up, oh, you know, which which place is better? You know, I may not be the person that day to answer that question for whatever reason, but I always say that if you know. I have had an extensive and long career in this business. So if you call me, one of two things are going to happen. Either I'm going to be able to help you or with my very wide net of contacts, I'm going to make sure that Somebody you get does. to a person. That, right. Yeah. Right. Well, that's very important. Mm-hmm. And if you go through referral, which is what we all do here, mm-hmm. I mean, who really goes on the yellow pages or the internet or Google and finds... Yellow pages. A, does it I don't, exist? I, it does. I don't know. There's I still one. I got one. There is still I one. I get one. Did you I, it, I, I was thinking about that the other day. You would think, too. You know, you should be able to call somebody. <laughs> At the then, town. You know, and re, and refer. Like, we have a list. Mm-hmm. You well, know? you can call. 
I, but you so may sure not they get don't. an answer. <laughs> I'm not so sure mm-hmm. they. There is a lot of thing on the on the website, mm-hmm. but getting an answer that's another story. Mm-hmm. And you know, I know, uh, you know, basically because I've been through it all. But I also know that they're coming up with a lot of new things. But again, everything takes a long time. If you get somebody like you, and you pay for it, you're going to get answers, right? Because what's free is free. And, you know, you have to pay to get the right person to do what you need to do, especially if you're in a rush. Yeah. And, don't, you know, don't be, uh, I mean, don't be mistaken. I've done my share of pro bono work. I know you have. Uh, I mean, and I did run an organization for, you know, for a, a long time. For a long time that mm-hmm. it was very much instrumental in right. helping people navigate. So and not I've only that, a, you know, you've been doing it forever. Just like what we've done here with the club has been forever. And what she does has been forever. Mm. So that's the kind of person, that's the leader of that industry that you want to get involved with because she can raise her hand, five sing- five fingernails and say, call this one for this, that one for this, and all together we'll work together. Mm-hmm. And that's the key, don't you think, Oh, Stephanie? absolutely. I mean, look at it, what about when you were... It's getting all the moving parts right in moving. the right order. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. So that, they all, so that it meshes. <laughs> you can have them, but if you can't put them together, it, it doesn't really help individually. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like you see, you've had seven, so many years experience. Mm. Well, there's ways to have experience. You can have 14 years experience and have the first year's experience repeated 14 years over, in which case you've learned nothing. Mm-hmm. I've dealt with people like that. Mm-hmm. Or you can have 14 years cumulative experience where you've made contacts, broaden your networks, and know how to proceed from there. Right. Yeah, Kevin totally Camper. different outcome. Kevin yeah, Camper well is watching. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you. Patricia, thank you. Marianne, thank you. It's always good when people are watching. Yeah, that's neat. And then later on, we'll be sharing it. It'll be going going everywhere. Mm-hmm. So what is the kind of client that's the best client that you need, That what they're looking for? Somebody out there that says, oh, she does that? I need to call her. What? Who is that person for you? Well, the ideal client is not necessarily the client that you eventually get. So the ideal client is that person who is... Uh, educated enough to know that they don't know what they don't know right and they say how can i be helped and to seek out answers for that and you know i mean there's channels to do that and if i could come up with a, you know a direct answer in a small box and, and do that right now you know i would uh, i don't know it would be like magic but well but uh, there's a know, lot of different yeah. avenues that yeah. you can help with so uh but you know once again i i i've said this a zillion times in my career Navigating the healthcare system is tough. Is tough all mm-hmm. right, and uh, you know it, it's not for sissies. It's really for the you know it, it really is complicated. The other thing is is that if you spend enough time in the medical healthcare field, you know you know where you are going to get the the best bang for your buck, or where those opportunities are right. in terms of getting services. Uh, it so it is, you know I, I'm sounding like. I, I'm not coming up with the the right answer. But it's elder care. Yeah, it's but, ageism. It's yeah. older people. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure you could help somebody that's having a problem that's young, that's in the hospital Absolute, as well. Absolutely. So it's really But everybody health. has, but once again, I, I, I think that we become specialized in the areas. You know, like if you're a physician, all right, are you, today it's, are you, we are so, uh, indoctrinated to have the cardiologist, to have the internal medicine, to have the nephrologist, to have the ENT. So many. That everybody scary. specialized in a specific area. So, you know, I mean, uh, I'm not saying that I could not ever possibly take on a pediatric case. And I do, I mean, I did I'm pediatrics. Sure I, work, I worked in the school right. uh, for, you know, uh, I worked through the BOCI system mm-hmm. uh, for kids with special needs. But that was years ago. I, I so, but you, you know what? You want to be as responsible as you can. That when you take on a case, you want to make sure that you are as well equipped, informed, and, and knowledgeable. Really know right. That you don't have to do, you know, a ten hours of research before you even jump into that case. Absolutely. You want to hit the ground running. Yeah. Well, that's good. Now, what about people that are that can't afford anything anymore and they need to go on Medicaid? Do you refer people for that? I yeah I. Because I work for an elder law attorney, and because I've been in, the field, in this field for a long time, I have good knowledge or peripheral knowledge of most of these things. But I'm not a Medicaid planner. No, but so could you refer someone that could do it? Because I absolutely. have a client for you there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, someone just called yes. me. Yes, absolutely. So can, you, can I do it? I'm like, 
<laughs> no, I really can't. That's yeah. not my forte. Yeah. But can I help you get it done? Yes, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I try not to take on things that I'm not that educated on because it'll take 10 times as long mm -hmm. as somebody that knows what they're doing. I mean, the Medicare, Medicaid field is, is vast and you really need somebody, uh, unless you have the wherewithal, the knowledge to be able to complete your application, et cetera, uh, on your own, uh, you know, to have somebody help you with it. Yeah, right. So let's talk about this new thing that yes. you're doing. It's called Certified Grief Recovery Specialist. Very good. I'm thinking. You can read. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay, you lost somebody. You're in a pit. Mm -hmm. You're depressed. You don't know where to go, who to turn to. You have money coming in that you don't you can't even read the damn mm. checks because you're out of it. Yeah. And you're the person that can help to get you through the bad stuff. So as a nurse, as you can imagine, I have helped people through the grief process many times in my career. Um, but I think grief has changed dramatically to us in this country over the last three years during COVID. And people have encountered uh -huh. things that they never expected. There's been a lot of loss and, um, you know, and how that's affected us. Uh, unfortunately for me, it affected me personally. I did lose a brother to COVID. Um, nine months later, I lost another brother, not to COVID, but he had a health problem that looked like he was recovering from, and he died, uh, you know, unfortunately too, too quick. I'm so sorry. sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So um, grief became a different issue for me at, at, that, at this point in my life. Um, and grief is, inter we interpret grief as losing, uh, you know, something tangible. Uh, a person, a dog, a pet, a cat, you know, right. pet. or there's the non-tangible. So it could be you lost a job, uh, you mm -hmm. moved away, mm -hmm. uh, you had a fight with your friend and you never spoke again. Right. Uh, could even be losing right. a mansion yeah. or, or yeah. Yeah. something that was so important yeah. right. to you. Jewelry. I mean, not that it no, Well, out. you know what? But it could it's be a unique. diamond worth, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, and this is something I really <laughs> want to go out and, and start talking about. And also think about what we've been through. We have lost a certain amount of our autonomy, yes. um, you know, and our, uh, you know, our sense of, gee whiz, we just want to go. I mean, people are really thinking twice about, gee whiz, should I get on that plane? Should I go into that movie theater? Uh, you know, what? I just went to a networking meeting. Am I going to get sick tomorrow? I mean, there's a lot of that going on. Yeah. So I have a friend of mine who's a psychotherapist, also a uh, grief recovery specialist. And he really was my role model and my inspiration. So you watched him? Well, it's not even watch, talking to him. And I, and at first I, at first I was resistant to that grief thing because I said, oh, you know what, um, I, you know, I'm getting through my own grief and uh, you know, I'm, if I, the right word is managing it. Yeah. But really um, I, it became more evident that I was interested in helping people go through what I did um, in, a, uh, in a professional and sensitive manner. And social. And I for, mean, and you for know. me, I also wanted to do something and add credentials to my list that I felt were meaningful and purposeful. And that's how I and did so it. And so you got certified. So I got certified. The actual training was life-changing for me. Was it? Yes. Because it, uh, they actually put you through the method. I, I did this with the Grief Recovery Institute, which is a evidence-based uh, five-star program. That and the evidence-based part about it is that it's been around for forty years, and time and time again, it's been proved to be, uh, you know, a positive and uh, and successful modality. Mm -hmm. So that's how these things get done. Um, and the, the, the it's all over the time that we have to go over the whole method, but there is a specific method that you work with the people that you work with. And really what you're doing is you are, you know, you're kind of moderating them. You're, you're working with them and they're doing all the work because that was the experience I had. They had this. to write, you have to write everything down. And well, it's more it. than that. It's a graphing. It's, it really is. Wow. Uh, yeah. So um, how long did it, how long is the classes? So the, I started in September um, and I took the basic part, the first part for, to get the certification. And then in November, I did the advanced training. So, um, and you know, now I'm in the process of wanting to, you know, take that and go with, and, it. And go with it. Yes. That's great. Yeah. Well, you know, nowadays everything with the certification is important because yeah. people look at that before they hire you. Yeah. yeah. And I'll say something about, you know, about grief. Uh, and I'm going to repeat myself. Grief is misinterpreted. 
uh, we tend to say, oh, you know what, we'll get over it, we'll get over it, and that's all we can do. And it's kind of, and the analogy that they use is that, oh, you, you lost your job, oh, you know, God forbid you lost a person, oh, you know, things happened to you along the way, along the way, and you just keep on taking those little rocks, or those bigger stones, and all those boulders, and just kind of putting it on a, a bolt, like a pack on your back. back, and you just carry it around, carry it around until, well, you had enough. Had enough. And then what happens with that? So I think that the idea of helping people through that process and bringing them to a place where uh, they could feel that they are, you know, that at least they, if not, because I don't think you ever cure grief, and I say this with my brothers, do I ever want to say, oh, you know what, their deaths don't bother me. I'm over my grief. Oh, for that's them. BS. Yeah. Of course not. If anyone of says course, that, they're full of crap. Of course not. So it really is managing yourself. Some of the people that right. say time heals all wounds. No, I'm like, yeah. really? But, but, this, but really? think about it. These are things that people say to. Yes, yes. Right? of course. All right? Yes. And without yes. even thinking, it's just like, you know, it's like these kind of rote an you know, answers yes. or responses. Because they say, don't and know what to say. So I they have say to stupid. Yeah. I have to say, the trainer that I had for both the first part of the certification and the advance was a Excellent. woman she was amazing and what really made her amazing is that she had a traumatic story she was um a victim of uh sexual and physical abuse by her father mm -hmm. and uh and other family members and she was i mean i i i can't tell her story specifically of course not. yeah but mm -hmm. um and she had a mother who did not support her well, that right there, right. that puts yeah. you but, right down, you but know. When she got to enough where she felt like she was going to burst and her life was meaningless, she was led to this. Which is great. She so, found herself. Right. Well, I think what you're doing is going to be great. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited about it. If you ever, you know, need help and you want to put together anything, you know, we have great women mm -hmm. here, like yes, some kind of Adam. No, that would be wonderful. You know, we could work mm -hmm. with you, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I know you'd be interested sure. in it and probably you would yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's... It's uh, un it's terrible it's, to say, but the women do make it. They bring the crowd, mm -hmm. and they make it. Not that yeah. men don't; they do. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. We just seem to well, do it a little are differently. More they're know, more forthcoming. Yeah, they, well, know, you, you know, the they, bottom they, line is, women know women. I always say this, even in discussions. You know, mm -hmm. oh, well, he said this, and she said this. I said, women know women, and men know men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if the woman tells you this is what she thinks, that's yeah. pretty much what it is. Yeah. Well, that's Amen. very true. <laughs> and it affects everybody. No, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. It's very true. But um, I want to get back to the jewelry, too. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. I know when I, you know, we always spoke about the jewelry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do remember you were talking about a book that said, looks can be deceiving. Yes. And, you know, you know Stephanie, and we all work with Stephanie. Yes. And we love She her. does a great job for all of us hey, on Stephanie. everything. She made my <laughs> last trailer. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it's great. I mean, no. Great trailer. Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing? Where's the book? How's it going? Well, it'll come in time for sure. I mean, this is, I keep saying this is my year, and I think this will be my year. Uh, I actually was out yesterday with a friend, a girlfriend yesterday. We went into the city for the day, and we did um, we did a show and food. And oh, was that a, was when yeah, I could reach you yesterday. Yeah, was, that's right. That's right. Yeah. It was so cool. We had a really lovely day, and we were talking about this. So, yeah, the book is, the book's name is Looks Could Be Deceiving. And um, it's it's a book about um, I think about my love and my infatuation with fashion, but not from the not from the perspective of a image consultant or a fashion consultant or anything like that. It really is intertwined with uh, fashion and life stories. It's kind of a tongue in cheek t uh, concept to it. And I'm going to give you a for instance. All right, I'll give you. I mean, there's going to be a lot of light fun you know you know yes stuff. but one of the chapters in my book is called up in smoke and the reason that i chose that is that as a nine or ten year old kid um uh, we had moved out from from queens to long island my dad's business was in uh farmingdale and my mother said oh we have to go to dad's office we went to his office so we came back to a seven alarm fire all right and mm -hmm. the family home was up in flames literally mm. And we lost, you know, the house didn't burn down, but we lost enough of the house. And we also lost uh, two pets in the house and oh. all of our clothes, all of our belongings and everything else. And I could never understand or grasp as a nine-year-old or a 10-year-old 
really what that meant, that loss, that, you know, that feeling of what's next, that fear, uh -huh. that grief, right? Um, and it's played out in different ways, you know, over the years. But I mean, people were bringing us clothes. The only thing that survived that fire for clothes was actually my mother's mink stole, which, really? we, which we laughed about. <laughs> and I can tell you that to this day, I can still smell that smoke in my in my nose. Sure. sure. So the up and smoke part of it, and I really feel that that part of the the, the fashion or the clothes part really is almost a story a, in a, itself. Started at that point in my life where. Mm -hmm. You know, here we were, and um, so that kind that's of, part of it. That's and then the jewelry so, has something to do with it, right? Well, a little bit. Uh, well, the jewelry and the clothes. I mean, that's all part of the fashion. You know, me, you know, yeah. right? So we can't wait to see. But it. there is another. There is another part of it. When I went back to school for nursing, um, I was in my forties at the time, and I worked. I worked part time. And I went to school full time, and I didn't have the bucks to you know go out and buy you know all kinds of clothing and everything else. Um, and I. Wound up saying, gee whiz, you know, I'll get a little piece of jewelry, a pin or something like that. Yeah, I'm like looking that. at this because I know? love pins. I've grown <laughs> since then. Look, so. look how nice this is. That's the pin I just oh, had yeah, to take off. Oh, yeah, that's a V, yeah. I had I to take it off because had... it broke. She, had it. she couldn't yeah. fix it. I forgot I had my so V So I'm looking on. at the V. Yeah. yeah. Now I want number three, actually. But anyway, that's a, the day of my my birthday. <laughs> but, okay. So, um... So anyway, um, so that accessorizing part of it was it's, like, must have been you know, sick. just little things here and there well, got me through nursing school. That's great. Yeah. That's really good. I'm, I'm glad you know, to we're hear a it. product. It's an interesting. I think we as human beings, men or women, we're just a product of our experiences and how we can wrap that up and present it and, uh, you know, and enjoy it and share it with people. That's a wonderful thing. No, it is. It what is. do you like, like to, to make? Where she gets her energy. Well, she, but she, she like had jewelry too. Tell me, you like to make something your own. In other words, like sometimes when people come to my house, some now and everyone has a different opinion. Some will say, "Oh my God, it's so cluttered!" Oh my God, look mm. at all those pictures. Yes. You know, people. So you know, everyone has a different. And someone say, "Oh, how nice and homey." Right. And it depends on, right. on how you look at it. But the thing is that I always said is, you know, furniture is furniture. We're all buying it in the same place. Nine million people have the same sofa and loves it. What what makes yours different from the showroom is that you're the, the story, per, the personal touches, right? right. The story and that's, behind and that's it. the same with the suit. You know, five people can. It's like that. Who wore it best? I hate that because I think none of them look good in anything they wear. <laughs> but that's beside the point because well, the clothes are so darn ugly. No, but also you could go to a thing and. Two people, you have the same dress on as someone else, and you're like, oh, God, do I look like that in it? Mm -hmm. You know, because everyone wears things differently. Mm -hmm. Right. But right. getting onto right. that subject, it's Valentine's Day. Yes. And yes. you brought this beautiful rose. Oh, you wear I've never seen anything so beautiful. It is. It's Who pretty. gave you this? Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's in our audience right now. I think now. so, too. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. My middle name is Rose. Rose. Yes. Mm -hmm. so These are real that roses. Is beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Um, dipped in something and gold then, and then gold gold trim yep, it's beautiful well they got me one one year on the next year one by the time i got to about the third one i said to me no i think we're i think we're done with the roses but now this i don't a, need a, a dozen of these things in a vase <laughs> in, in a and i have them of, i have them. Oh, it's very light yes a lennox yes. vase with four of them and i have beautiful. them spread and i have I them on one of these uh, yeah beautiful. i would too very nice. i get one um, Bill, where can I get, get one? one? You're on the spot, Bill. <laughs> Philadelphia Jewelers. <laughs> Philadelphia Jewelers. <laughs> okay. Good to know. You can probably Google it. You probably see it. Google it. Are they in Philadelphia? <laughs> Are they in Philadelphia? <laughs> it's very pretty. Okay. okay. I'm gonna look it's it up. Light, yeah, it's very pretty. So, what else very did you nice. bring? What are some examples yeah. of? Uh, you know, everyone out there, you got to buy yeah. Valentine's gifts. And, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be, I'll tell you, the expense. Don't buy flowers. Don't buy expensive candy. Wait, 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 no, 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 don't go with saying, the flowers. You know, the usual. Some women like okay, flowers. Okay, but I'm just saying. I it like flowers. It's not, I guess what I'm trying to say is, guys out there, it's not the amount no. of money that you spend. No. It's the thought what? behind what you give. Right. right. And if you have a thought, scroll through Etsy. I mean, there's a there's a Emmy Lou Designs and Mass. I mean, there's so many people that are so creative. Yes. That they can make they make Etsy anything. Is one of them. So yes. one year this lady made made me this pillow. Now, I mean, you know, you just sent her a bunch of different pictures. Oh, how cute. And she, right. you know, just pictures from different things that, that were that were important. I love it. Nice love guys. It. Look, uh -huh. this is another great. Where did you get this? Etsy? No, some lady in and Wanto Mama's. I just happened to, you know, you scroll I love through. It. I like the black, too. You usually wouldn't buy a black pillow, but the colors and the pictures come out so nice. You know, I think who does that too is Walgreens. 
Oh, really? I, I, I think they cups. do. My granddaughter uh, did something for her mother uh, for her oh, birthday. Oh, Joe Giannata. Joe Giannotti yeah. is watching. And Joe, I'm glad you oh, chimed this is, in. This is just nothing. I know everyone puts things on the walls, and so and I, I I'm a shop, I'm a shopper, so I'm an all year round shopper. So at any given time, I've got boxes upstairs with things in it. Oh, this is for Christmas. Mm -hmm. This is I'm I'm a 24 <laughs> seven shopper with everything in its compartment. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I buy things that I'll I'll say things like we have a saying, and it's called we're not married, but we're committed to the commitment. So one year I had a sign, I couldn't find, that's the one I couldn't find. I had a sign made like that. And then sometimes when, you know, you say things very, like you say, tongue in cheek. Okay, so I say to him, you're the bestest. Oh, and I'm God. the luckiest. Sounds okay. like you're Yeah, 16. right? Here we go. You're the oh, bestest and I'm the luckiest. Yeah. Well, that's nice. But, that's a you know, nice it's, gift. It's, it's just, it, you know, it's sometimes just it's just, it's how just you feel. the thought. That right. counts that I think. That, well, I got that. that. See that smoochie? Give me that smoochie. 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 I got That's that cute. from my honey. Give me that. I want to show it. Show. You got a smooch. Okay. <laughs> well, look at Isn't that. Isn't that cute? It's a smoochie. Oh, I love it. It's, it's on my table, and I brought it to put on the table today. I love stuff That's like cute. that. And I love the sparkles, because I'm into Oh, anything that shines. I like sparkles. Yeah. That's for sure. And now you have the game. You brought all this stuff about the game. I'm not one to talk about no, sports. No, I'm so. just, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to say that perhaps it would be nice if the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles won. I'm interested to see the game because I like, the, I very much enjoy the commercials and the mm. hype about the mother has the two sons. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's adorable really to tell you the yeah. truth. And and it's noteworthy and that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, that is a great story actually. I think yeah. that's and she has the shirt that has the yeah. two. Well, I have one of those made yeah. for us. Yeah, to have for mm -hmm. Super Bowl. So we so now Joe Joe Maluna is watching. Joe is a, a staple here at G's. He comes here a lot. And then Joe Giannotti, I'm waiting for you. He's going to come on the show and cook. Oh, he's wonderful. a chef. And we keep playing be, phone tag the last three days. Wow, that'd be great. So Joe is going to come to cook on the show. Mm. And we do have chefs on every now and then. It's That's a nice. lot of fun. And they come with these machines and they and they cook right away, right there. They put up a table. That's great. And then we eat. So we always love to eat here. You know. Oh, Steve, Steven, Steve Singer Steven. Jewelry is the, Oh, there Steven you go. Steven Singer. Oh, Steven, Steven, Steven Singer, Singer is Jewelry. The jewelry. Okay, I'm putting it I right here. I them. There you go. Oh, they're big. They're very big. Yes. I, you know, I'm sure you've heard of them. Yes. The old tip roses. Okay. okay. And they come in all different colors. Terrific. I'm gonna get one. Okay. Well, I just put it on the thing too. If anybody okay. wants, anybody wants to buy this for your loved one, go to Google Stephen Silver Jewelry Singer. Stephen Silver. Singer. Stephen Singer. That's why I had too much wine today, guys. I don't know. Stephen Singer Jewelry. Uh, getting back to lunch, we had lunch today at uh, Connolly's Pub, and we were talking to some gentlemen that are doing a big pool. And we found out today that there's all kinds of, you know, pools you can get into. Pools yeah, for oh, for like the Super Bowl. Yeah, pool. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, thinking pool, pool Me like too. swimming pool. Me too. Yeah. No, no but, so <laughs> I'm thinking that summer. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't know those things existed. So oh, you know, yeah. oh my god, yeah. yeah. Most of my friends, when we do that, when we do a. You know, it's funny. We take the box and we make it all up, and then you know, it's you can get this candy bar, or if, if your person gets this, or, right. or sometimes you have to do a chore. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, I hate when money changes hands, mm -hmm. but that's usually how we do. It's more for fun than anything, and just oh, to yeah. feel, feel like you're in it. You know, it's like you ever play get kids play hockey. If you, yeah, kid makes a goal, I'll I'll buy you a soda. You know, that's, well, some of them do it with cake. You know, they buy cakes and they do it with cakes. Yes, you know, yes, yes. The Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, stuff like that. But. Uh, is a lot that goes on. Nick Attilio Jr. He says, oh, come tonight. There's meatloaf for trotters. Get out. Uh, and Stephanie, he's telling Get him. out. That's it's one of our here. restaurants. Oh, really? Yeah, there's the trotters. Pro prove it. Send a picture. She, why he's telling her, because she likes the meatloaf, to go there, to go there and have picture. meatloaf prove tonight. it. That's so funny. is anybody bringing something in or making something special for Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday? Uh, here, are they having lots of parties. But You're going to be do, here? No. No. I'll be here for the Valentine's, oh, Monday, Monday at 11.30, 30, which is another thing I want to talk about. Everybody out there, we're having an audience participation Monday. If you want to come and bring a snack, we're having food, champagne, we have music, we have a performer coming, nice. and we have a love couple from Long Island, and the gentleman and his wife, he is a famous uh, pianist, 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 pianist. pianist. and 
He's called the piano man, but he's not the piano man. <laughs> but he's similar to his music. Uh -huh. And they're going to be honored on the show. Oh, how cool. It's going to be a great Love is in the Air nice. Monday nice. at the Breakfast Club show. Very so good. Good anybody that wants to come, bring friends. You want to get out for lunch, mm. 1130 to 2, bring your cards. You see we have a stage. You mm. could dance, whatever you want to do. Very nice. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. Are you, yeah. are you going to be able to come? No, you said you can't make know. it. You're having fun. I'm having a delivery, right? delivery, yeah, depending what see, time. These, they all help me. So when one can't come, like our regular girl, yeah. Susan, she's writing in because she's away. So she's not here today. But um, she's also sharing the show. We're and, the fillings. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody's the, the B team. <laughs> no, but everybody's important. And it, it really means a lot to, to have the help. So, you know, you know what it's like to be a one man band. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, it's, it's great to have people like this around. You call Trotter. And I then we people. also have a great <laughs> male uh, participation in the audience because mm. they help us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm lucky to have Patrick, who is from Ireland. Mm -hmm. And um, we're our anniversary, we've been dating two years. Oh, cool. And tomorrow, mm -hmm. actually, the 13th. Nice. Yep. And Bill <laughs> and Stephanie, well, what's your story with your lover there? <laughs> How many years is it? A long time, right? Well, we've known each other since the 80s. But we're together I, to the past seven years. Mm -hmm. And we nice. believe here, not you, you're married. Um, <laughs> we believe in, you know, when you're older, well, you don't need the marriage. You need the commitment. And Stephanie came up with that idea. Yep. We're committed to the commitment. Where's so that, now, where's that post? Where's that sign? <laughs> oh, I have a sign at home. So <laughs> and so now I'm commitment. following in her mm. steps. C2C, like, we call commitment it. Commitment to the commitment is better than a piece of paper. Mm. You know, so we're talking about all kinds of ideas to yeah, come up with. We could do a show on that. That's well, that would be interesting. And we right? probably will because that's yeah. how things happen, just by throwing things in there. Right. I met somebody um, that actually was the a former Miss Senior America. She was a young Miss Senior Which one? America. Which one? I can't remember her name right now. Is it the uh, one that's writing a book with us? I don't know. What's, who is that? Oh, got her name. Yeah. She has a talk show, too. It was it years there. ago? I'm the senior here. Was years ago. Never Bonna Bell? Her, Three years ago. She no, no. Was, no? was it Bonna Bell? She was no. a blonde. Okay. All right. Well, we probably know her. Up okay. here. Okay. Whatever. Uh, we probably do. Um, and um, her her um, significant other said that he was a spousal equivalent. I like that. Spousal I equivalent? <laughs> that I don't care for. I don't, I don't care for that either. That I think that's know. kind of... Decky. Yeah. I mean, you know, anyway, like that's, like, that's what he said. Like, I don't like that. No, I don't no. like spousal equipment. Spousal equipment. No, I don't like. That. I don't think a man would like that either. That's yeah. what he said. Either or. He, <laughs> yeah. he said he liked it. That's what he called himself. Yes. Is he trying to be cute? Sometimes no, I don't enunciate my words <laughs> <laughs> as much as I should. Yeah. Well, anyway, on another note, guys, we are working with the uh, Long Island Volunteer Center, Diana O'Neill. I met her. She's a doll. I just was at the nonprofit hub, and she was there. Yes. Very nice, yes. We're working on a prom collection of gowns, jewelry, shoes, capes mm. uh, for a month. Uh, I will collect only jewelry here at the show, but everything else can be brought right to the self-storage place in Lake Success. It's right on my uh, Facebook, and it's a great way to help girls get dressed for the prom, mm. and they don't pay a thing. Mm, nice. If you know a girl that needs the help, they have to come through me mm -hmm. for our part mm -hmm. because you just can't show up. You have to have an appointment. Mm -hmm. They do a beautiful job. It was always done at uh, Adelphi. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to be doing it with the Nassau Police Station in Garden City. Very nice. Which is even nicer. Very so nice. we're going to be very involved in it. Mm -hmm. So please, start throwing out your dresses, your suits, anything that would be worn to a prom. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'll collect jewelry twice a week here at the show. Mondays at 11.30, Thursdays at 4.30. Other than that, I can't collect dresses. It's too much work for me. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll drop the jewelry You know, off. I volunteer at the church. You know, we have the St. Vincent de Paul, too. And we, right. They collect, too, sometimes. And then uh, the people that need help, they might come in to say, my daughter's graduating mm -hmm. or this or that, too. Well, if you find so a girl that a, needs a dress, yeah. she can come on our ticket to go she on the go. day. They give her a special appointment. Mm -hmm. And they treat her like a queen. It's That's really wonderful. very special. We're going to let them know. So we're very yeah. happy to be doing that. Yeah. Wonderful. Good. And then um, Tuesday, uh, we're going, uh, there's an opening uh, for Valentine's Day at 
um, the Polo Lounge. Eddie Sessa, he's our Sinatra singer. Mm -hmm. We love him. I don't know if you know him yet. I've heard his name. I don't know him. He's Fabulous. wonderful. Yeah, so there's a yeah. great uh, Valentine's Day mm -hmm. event. We're going. Well, me and my honey. Where is it located? Westbury in Westbury, Westbury Manor. Manor. Oh, Westbury Manor. But it's not like Westbury Manor. It's a small club. It's like a city. It's like a city supper club. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. He's there every yeah. Friday night, and he's and there for Valentine's. Day. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Day of it. Three seatings. Yeah. Oh. There are three seatings. And then to uh, tonight, uh, Eddie's singing at Casariano. I don't know if you've ever gone there. It's no. great on Jericho Turnpike. It's in uh, Bikeland Cove Road. And then also uh, Bob D'Amato. We have all these performers that show, come on the show and perform. Uh -huh. nice. He's going to be at La Focaccia on Saturday. So there's three things you can go to. And they're equally priced differently. So mm -hmm. you call them, you see which one you want to go to. And last but not least, March 31st, if anybody likes the Yankees, we're part and parcel of an event called Bat Boy. It's the real story uh, play of uh, Ray Negron, who was the first uh, Yankee who got caught painting all over the walls. And George Steinberger took this kid under his wing, and he's now a very big, big shot. I've heard of this, Yankees. actually. He wrote two books. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be... who wrote it? Now, who wrote the books? Uh, Ray Ritter Garan. Okay. So there's a big event in Floral Park. It's nice. the actual story of what happened when Ray mm -hmm. got caught. Yeah. And uh, Bob D'Amato, who's our performer, is going to be singing it. Singing there. That's nice. something. I don't know yeah. if you like Yankees, right? You don't. You're yeah. not a Yankee <laughs> lover. <laughs> you got to be a Yankee lover. Yeah. Yeah. You we're have met. to be a Yankee lover to go. And then our other really great um, supporter is the View Grill. Have you been there? I've been many times. Yes. Well, do you know Janine? Yeah. I, well, I know Janine. Everybody knows Janine that lives in Glen Cove. So. Yes. <coughs> we love her. Yeah, she's She's terrific. one of our sponsors. She's and yeah, she's she has wonderful. something special coming up on Saturday as well. This Saturday? Yes. What is it? It's something um, about the Glen Cove area. You probably want to know about it. I can send it to you later. Yeah, send it to me. Yeah. And uh, they're looking to, I don't know, Enhance some programs that they have, mm. and it's a nonprofit day. Yeah, and tell to me. Yes, I will. So don't forget, everybody, it is National Pizza Day. So Yay. go see your pizzeria. Yay, pizza. And We're going to Trotter's for meatloaf, I thought. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah. I bet it's you're going. I know you. I swear. I bet you there's no meatloaf. Oh, you think he's making it up? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Uh, That's yes, possible. Yes, I do. That's possible. And the other thing is, you know, you want to remember that... Love is in the air. The whole month of February here will be decorated. We're not today because Susan is out on a day off, but thank you for implementing oh, yes, so the sports, right. which, right. which really Even it looks it's great. Even though it's one-sided. Uh, Excuse me, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like you to tell everyone how do they reach you because I think what you're doing is terrific, and I think people need you. So uh, for those who have any questions or are interested in knowing more, it's Vicki Elner. My phone number is 516-455-9612. And you can reach me through email, jazzpip at aol.com. That's jazzpip, J-A-S-P-I-P at aol.com. And what about Facebook? Do you have a Facebook page? I do, I do. It's under Vicki Elner. Vicki yes. Elner. Yes. And she's one dynamo <laughs> business lady and she does make things happen thank you it's you really, really do it's so nice knowing you all this time yeah thank and you always the you. outfits to die for <laughs> we used to call her the model of the breakfast club. oh stop. remember oh, so remember the day stop. you were there and the girl came in and sang yes remember that it was like yeah. she came out of nowhere it, it, it and was like it was like i wasn't sure i mean i was like was, who is this who are these like, crazy people <laughs> She had long like black at hair. Like 10 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. And she came like, and she goes, I need help. I'm, a, I'm like, all right, sit down. I'm like, what, what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm a singer and I can't get work. I said, so sing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, it was like nothing I've ever experienced in all my networking years. Yeah. And really, but we put her to work. She yeah. wound up doing was fun. two events. Mm. We got to go with the thing. Yeah, that's yeah. right. She, I only went to one. I went to two of her events. Yeah, I went yeah, to one. She's a great lady. Mm -hmm. So um, in that in that note, these are for you. These are all little goodies. Oh, my God. Everybody gets a little sweet. goodie when they come on the show. These are Thank regular, you. so they don't get any. We don't get any. No, <laughs> no you hear some. These are great mints that Patrick yeah, brought tonight for, okay. for us. Thank you. Do you want to give me socks for you? I love socks. We would do things that are weird. 
Who That's gives right. you socks on? I, a, I'm happy. On a talk show. <laughs> We're oh different. Goodness. You know where this is going to be open? At yes. The bar when I walk out. But we yet. are different, and that's what we we want to be yeah. different. Yeah. This is very nice. Thank you. Thank and you it for was so nice many. to have you. And thank you for nice, nice to meet you, ladies. Yeah, yeah. Nice it was nice very nice to, you. to meet you too. Yes. Yeah. God bless. I, mean, I want to be regular. Great work. <laughs> great come <laughs> again. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk. We just anytime. We need to have lunch first. Yes. We need to go to some place. I know. Once we went to that nice place, you loved. Something uh, I don't even remember. It was like a new, a new restaurant. You have so many favorites. So yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, go to the View. Come oh, to well, go. We go to the View all the yeah. time. We go yeah. on. Uh, Janine is a great yeah, lady. She's great. She is. She's I did my great. book there. Uh, yeah, she's three, uh, a month ago. Patrick came with me. She went to one time. I asked. Oh, I said. I said, Janine, do you have gazpacho? She goes. Well, it's not on the menu, but I'll make it for you. She literally made me gazpacho one. She makes there. homemade bread yeah, when you're she's there. She's amazing. She's really you amazing. get homemade bread on the she's table. A lovely person. Oh, I love yeah, her. Every, yeah. Everybody in Glenville loves her. Did you see that they had the honeymooners thing there? We were there for that. I do, I knew that they had it, but I didn't go. But I went to something there that they had, um, and I don't even remember what it was now. <laughs> It was called uh, the yeah no the honeymooners was good it was yeah. great it was yeah, it looked sure it just fun. like it we had yeah. a great time That's cute. so on that note it's a wrap thank now. you everybody it's a wrap. It's don't a wrap. forget go Chiefs <laughs> don't forget Monday come to G's the Avenue of G's it's gonna be a great show great gifts great raffles and a great story of a love couple on Long Island. And let's just say, let the best team win. Okay. And let it go with that. Okay. Chiefs. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys.